Hi guys, my name is Bilal. I'm the co-founder and co-CEO of BNB Group. Uh, we are a global player in the uh, Mediterranean sweets, chocolate, bakery ingredients, and healthy food and snack space. Uh, we started in 2007, and today we are over 1,000 people in the UAE, uh, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, uh, Spain, the UK, and the US. If I look back to when we started, um, you know, the, the mindset did not exist on whether you outsource or whether you keep things in-house. And a lot of things have changed since then. Every time I sat with Endeavor colleagues and we would sit down and discuss what are the challenges that we face daily, we realized that most of the challenges were non-core parts of the business. And every time the answer would be, well, why are you doing it yourself? Why aren't you outsourcing? At the end of the day, I think it was always, because this is how we've always done it, and it's always holding back. And now we see 13 years later that as we give away all these parts of the business to new startups or you know, proven businesses, we are able to scale much faster because we've become lighter and these challenges have kind of you know, chipped away. Technology is always being developed by people who focus on that part as their core. Today, there, if you if you take a look at all your all the functions in your company and we, and look at what's not your core, you have to ask yourself: Is there a company out there that can do this better than you? As an example, we've started to look in-house and realize that warehousing is not our core, and we're in the middle now of talking to a company that are are really good at warehousing and could manage this much better than us. Um, if we look at our logistics as well. That's another thing in early 2019 that we have outsourced today. However, one of the discussions I had with a fellow entrepreneur was about his finance function. He is a brand owner and he surprised me when he told me that, you know, his uh, accountants are all the way in the Philippines while we're in the UAE. And, at the, and this is something that we could not do because our finance function is complex and something that we need to access on site, particularly in the production house. So you need to ask yourself, is this function core to the company or not? So if it's not, we're ready to outsource it. Two, is there a company out there that could deliver the results that you want? And after that, it's a no brainer. The more you focus on your core, the faster you can grow. The old set my mindset of trying to control everything just doesn't work in the world we live in today. So when you're trying to identify the partner that you want to outsource the function to, you have to ask yourself, you have to go and look clearly at how this function processes today in your company, because from company to company, it differs. So I'll give you an example. If we look at uh, in BNB Group, our delivery schedule, we don't have a five day a week delivery schedule between 8 and 5 p.m. Ours is all over the place. It's actually six days a week and it could be any time uh, between you know, 8 a.m. and 2 a.m. So we had to look for partners that are flexible to deliver when we need, particularly in high seasons when it's a public holiday. So identifying you know, your processes and then, ma and then matching them with the company that you're planning to outsource to is key. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Outsourcing does not have to be to large multinationals. Today, there are a lot of startups, a lot of SMEs that offer these functions, whether you're looking for um, you know, storage for your data, IT, uh, accounting, logistics. A lot of startups have also brought technology to it, so they can do it much more efficiently. As an example, when we're looking now at outsourcing our warehousing, we're looking at the company that is going to, from day one, supply us with all the technology we need to be able to better manage our inventory. And if we wanted to implement this on our own, at the level of technology they have, we would have to focus a lot of our resources on this. Whereas just by outsourcing it, we're getting all this from day one. In summary, if you're in the mindset that you, where you're ready to outsource the non-core parts of your business, then putting some time in to map the processes and finding the right partners to implement it for you will result in the success you want.